Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz, and this right here is this sleepy boy. His name is Kevin. He's uh, bored at his desk because he was working so hard. Just working, 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 working so hard. He was spamming that like button, hitting subscribe if he hadn't already, and things started happening. Like, he's is he gonna wake up? Oh, what's going on here? It's almost like Kevin's hand is heating up <laughs> because he worked his computer too much. Oh no. Kevin, your computer's glowing hot. And because Kevin literally lit himself and his computer on fire, he might need a new one. Thankfully, today's sponsor is a company called Apex Gaming PCs. I'd also like to thank Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring this video. Many of you guys know that it takes a good PC to record and edit videos, and that's why I've partnered with Apex to custom build the PCs I use every day. Now, I usually do build my own PCs, but it takes a lot of time to build and troubleshoot, and that's why I'm working with Apex. They've made a custom line of PCs specifically for us Blitztopians, and they'll even build your custom PC and ship it directly to you so you can create YouTube content like I do. And I do know that it is more expensive than building your own PC, but you can click on that link in the video description and use the discount code BLITZ for 5% off your checkout, and you can get your very own custom-built PC today. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yep, so, uh, Kevin is, well, I mean, he, he did heat up his computer, but, uh, good thing is, we're in this basically a bomb structure here. You guys know how much I love missiles in this game. And one of my favorite contraptions in the entire game is this guy right here. You guys know this, the big old V2 rocket. Can I follow it, please? Follow. Okay, and then up, and then up. Maybe I shouldn't pause it. There we go. Yeah, see how cool that is? Uh-huh. It's a really good rocket missile thing. And it works really well. I can aim it. I can send it around. And I can crash it directly into this thing. But it doesn't matter because it's literally a bomb shelter with our very own missiles inside. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, my friends. We have some good ones here. You might recognize these as toys we played with before. The energy explosive vessels over there. We got the nuki boy hanging out in the middle. We just need to change the texture. See? That's the nuke. And then there's this thing. I don't really know what that is other than the EMP generator. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if we tested this out. Our friend Kevin and his friends are over here, ready to go at the missile chambers. So I just kind of reach up and go bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, so the button doesn't work unless you press F on it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> whoops. I kind of forgot to lift open the hatch. You get that sometimes. It, it happens. Don't worry. We'll just press this button real quick. There we go. Open sesame. Open 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 sesame do it open do the thing there you go <laughs> look the, the missile is actually trying to help it would you get out of the way bro we're trying to make a video here we have an emp inside of this thing just open for real oh look at that <laughs> just kind of sneaking its way out and then we have this emp up in space now there are the thrusters on the side here where we can turn them and then this thing actually can fly in circles. It's a little bit crazy. I'm gonna slow down and then we can follow this guy. Yeah, check that out. We have a nuke EMP. It's not really a nuke. Oh, <laughs> and then don't forget that guy. Nice. That's kind of amazing actually. I like it. Oh, maybe I don't like it because it's gonna go straight down into the area. No, it's just kind of, you know what? Just here, hold up. You're <laughs> gonna delete you. Pretend like you didn't happen. And then we'll do this second one right. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make Kevin number two here. He's gonna go boop and hit that middle button. Right, silo door is going to open. Silo door open properly this time. How cool is that? Nice. It's up. And I know you guys were wondering, but I did put a payload in here. It's full of raptors. I don't know why there's raptors in it. Also, the metal is heating up stupidly hot. Uh, probably because there's lava some why why is this super hot? <laughs> I don't know sometimes I don't understand this game most of the time I don't but what is this? I didn't see this thing before I want to try it. Can I play with it? Why is there a missile underneath? Anyway fire missile number two go. Oh Oh look at it go. Uh oh <laughs> the Raptors kind of it's okay. The Raptors got in the way a little bit, but he made it out nice that is so sick. We're going to turn that over, and I'm going to try to aim this thing properly. We're going to try to aim it just right, because we have to deliver the Velociraptor somewhere. And that location is that building over on the other side. So if I remove that, maybe if I turn both of them on, kind of correct the trajectory. I just made up a word, I think. And we're going to turn these off. This is actually really, really stupidly difficult to control. Oh, you know what else I can do? I could just kind of like... Dee -dee 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 <laughs> and then just pretend, because pretending is what you do if you're a YouTuber. You just make things work sometimes. And nobody ever knows. Ha! See, look. 
it's working. And then we go, eee, zoom flying. And then magically, I made it deliver its payload. Uh oh, uh oh, we gotta turn you, bud. We gotta, bud, bud. Hey, hold up, hold up. Okay, ready? And, oh, this is the wrong way. You're going the wrong way, my dude. And then fling you around. Oh, look, <laughs> the raptors inside are going on an adventure. All right, all right, we're flying backwards. Yep. And then we'll do this. Oh, whatcha! Nice. Okay, we're hitting the building sideways. But that's okay because there's a nuke inside and it doesn't matter! Blow up, nuke. You're gonna make. Yes! Yes! I nuked a city. I kind of feel bad about that, like deep down inside. But it looks fantastic, which is really what matters because it's a video game. And then. Wow. Okay, that was cool. And if I disable slow motion, I feel like my computer's gonna cry. Like, no joke, I've got a really good computer, and uh, there's just a lot of junk happening right now. I feel like I need to get rid of it. So sorry. So sorry, computer. Let's get rid of all of those entities, and then we're just gonna, you know, Thanos them out of the way. Beautiful. That looks so much nicer. It's so much less laggy. I also totally forgot to turn these things on. The anti-air turret control. Yes, we want buttons going. Ooh, okay, that's kind of cool. Was one of these the fire button? Is this one the fire button? No, this one is? Ooh, okay, that's amazing, I like that. What does this thing do? Magnetic anti-air air missile? And if I push the button, what was that noise? Ooh, okay, so it's actually a controllable remote missile down here. Oh, oh, that's sick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, turn that off, turn that off, uh-huh. Yeah, oh no, oh no, that's the wrong way, missile bro. Don't, oh, balls. Why do you have to do this? We'll just do this button. I don't know what that button does. If I press all the buttons, do fun things happen? How about I turn it off? <laughs> they really pretend like that anti-aircraft missile. It just, it doesn't work right. There is a magnet going on the front still. Let's delete that. We really need to test something for science purposes too. And nope, that's off. <laughs> it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Okay, uh-huh. And three, two, one, anti-aircraft Kevin destroyer device. Oh, oh, that was dirty. Look, he's got Kool-Aid leaking from his legs. And one more time. Oh, oh, he missed. <laughs> Three, two, one, activate aircraft Gatling gun. Da -da 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 <laughs> oh, that was kind of cool. I like that thing. So I'll be honest, if I spawn in one of these things instead, I feel like this might do a better job being an anti-aircraft gun. Yeah, see, look, <laughs> it works pretty good. We don't need him anymore. There are all sorts of fun toys in this prison. Not a prison, in the missile carrier. Oh no, <laughs> we just lit it all on fire. Good thing the door is closed. Yeah, we better keep that closed. And also that's really loud and annoying. Can you go away? Thank you. And for more science purposes, what happens if I put a Kevin in here? Or four of them? I think they'll like it. I think they'll have an adventure together. Yeah, that's quite the adventure. <laughs> it's like a blender for uh, crash just dummies. Yikes. We better fill up this one too. Yeah, that'll do the trick. All right, clear living. We have one more explodey boy to do. This one, my friends, is the energy vessel. And I need to find something fun and exciting like, oh, that one doesn't work. Like the same tower we did last time to explode. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, let's do it. Open up the silo control. Door controls activating. Beautiful. That's so cool. I love that design. Well done. It does kind of get in the way though. So we're just gonna, we don't need that anyway. I feel like we need a pilot in here. You can be our pilot, Kevin. You'll be pilot Kevin and I will duct tape you to the side. There you go, bud. Everything's gonna be perfect, I promise. No pain at all, because I'll knock you out first and it'll be exciting. And turn that and drop. Boop, perfect. He won't feel a thing. I don't know what that did, but hopefully I don't need it. Activate missile number three. Pilot Kevin to save the day. That is the wrong way. Okay, well, manually start it. Oh, that must've been that one wire that I had problems with. Whoops. Okay, it snuck its way out of there. Kevin's having such a fun time right now. And if I activate this, it should turn it to the side. Or I can just manually turn it to the side, because that'll work too. Zoom! And missile attack! Oh, that's gonna be a good one! Right to the side, nice! Oh, 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 that's so cool! And then activate, oh! Oh! Oh, that's fantastic. I really like how that turned out, that was cool. I destroyed a building with a black hole. Now the other cool thing is when this black hole like energy vortex 
ends, everything just gets exploded out the side of it. Ready? There it comes. Uh-oh. The game just kind of lagged out for me. Oh. 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 There it is. Yes! The supernova explosion. <laughs> game is crying right now. I'm not exactly sure why it's paused. Would you not? Thank you. Everything goes away. You guys also said I can, like, clear out the, the distance that change up the temperature. This is kind of neat. You want to see something neat? If we go to the sea map, right? We load it all the way up. We go to the environment, and we make the ambient temperature, like, negative 20. Watch this. Yeah, check that out. The world changes to ice. If I go to 15, it's back to water. 10, it's water. Zero. It, uh, it's neither water or... Let's see. And negative one. Ice. Oh, that's so cool. What happens if I do, like, 150? Ooh, how about if I do 15,000? Uh-oh, <laughs> the, the, water, the water went away. It's so sad, I feel bad for the water. But it's 15,000 degrees like the surface of the sun, what happens to Kevin? He just starts combusting after a sweet dance move. Look at him go. Dude's so excited to be here today. He loves people playground videos. I don't know why Kevin loves them so much. How about negative 200? What does that do? Oh, negative 100 is the limit. Let's see what that does to Kevin. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> he doesn't turn into an ice cube. He must have antifreeze for blood. Um, you gonna be okay, dude? You gonna be? I feel like this is probably gonna be the end of him. He's going faster and faster and faster and faster. And this is why I couldn't have nice toys as a kid. I hear limbs slapping. Nah, he'll be all right. He'll be fine in the morning. No, he's dead. He's also frozen. I think that might be why he's dead. Not because of the spin cycle he just went through. So I know a way to warm him up. Signal flares! Is it working? It's not really working. Oh, it actually is working. He's on fire now. I feel like that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Now, speaking of things I wanted to do, this thing should be a lot of fun if it ever decides to load. Oh yeah, it loaded under the map. This looks fun and exciting. It's called the Meat Factory. So theoretically, this is an entire Rube Goldberg machine of like some sort of weird thing that we're supposed to put meat into. Unfortunately, we only have like three things that have meat in this game. So I kind of want to start with the Velociraptors just to, yeah, tighten them up. And I mean, this is the real reason why I want Jurassic World to be real, so we can eat dinosaurs. I feel like this is always best if we have multiple dinosaurs. The more meat, the merrier, right? It's one of those Brazilian all-you-can-eat buffets. What are you doing? Where are you going, Blue? This guy in here. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I'll just put another one in, grind you up too. Yeah. And the best part is animal rights activists can't dislike this video because the lost raptors aren't real. There. Beautiful. That looks good. Good. Meat's going in. Uh, you guys need to be dismembered. You're, you're not chopped up enough yet. So they get placed on the conveyor. Nicely done. And it gets pushed up. That's kind of cool. Then we have this fan up here that's like, hey, meat can go that way. And then these things help push the meat along, tenderize it a little bit. Oh, yeah, and by tenderizing it, generally yeeting it across the map. Back down in another conveyor where the meat gets cooked. Where the meat was supposed to get cooked. Why didn't the meat get cooked? The meat, uh, that sense is life, our humans. Oh, that one got, that one got cooked. Maybe we need to, maybe we need to add in some other kind of meat, uh, into this process. I think that might help a little bit. Yeah, that could work. There we go. Now it's working better. Yay. Fresh Velociraptor meat. And then it goes around this corner. Ooh, a nice squish. What do these things do? Oh, it's a fire extinguishers. <laughs> okay. And then if there's anyone else still on fire, we'll... That's a healer. Those things are healers. That brought it back to life. Why are you bringing it back to life? That's not even okay. And then we'll put it out again in case it's on fire. <laughs> I like the I like the Velociraptors going around in here. Why does everything want it to be back and alive again? Okay, so this is the part where I needed it to go through the wall. We'll just remove that and then everything will go back here. It'll be perfect, I promise. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Now they come down here into the cooling factory where all of the meat's gonna get processed to be shipped out. That's exactly what we need done. Ooh, the cooling beams. And I feel like the ambient temperature is probably nice and low in here, so our meat gets, doesn't spoil. We have a few glowing blue toilet brushes in here to clean our meat off, too. I feel like that's probably what this is for. They're not actually toilet brushes, but you know what I'm talking about. And then we take the escalator up. Oh, oh, some of it's, some of it's not escalating properly. I feel like that should be going the other way. 
That's okay. Some of the meat still gets up in the processing area. Nice. Goes down the water slide of awesomeness. And back on another conveyor belt to this machine. What are these things? Wait, those are more life things. Is that going to turn it back on life again? No, they just straight... Oh, it did. Why did that come back to life? That's awkward. I've never seen a machine like this in, in the whole time I've ever played this game. It's chainsaws. Oh, and it missed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wait. Does it continue going? Oh, there's the button to stop it to make it retract. What an ingenious idea. Like, that's cool. I really want to see this work on a Velociraptor arm. Yeah, this will be cool. Ready? Get set. And... Oh, oh that's so neat. In a, in a weird, like, sort of way. Yeah, just the last tenderizing bit. Yes! Oh, that is so cool. Wow, well done. What happens if we put Kevin on here? I mean, it's going to get the meat really kind of gross because he's not frozen or cooked yet. Did I say that out loud? I don't feel like I can say that out loud. And then everyone comes down over here on the nice conveyor belt. And it gets nice and dropped right into the fresh meat transport station. That piece doesn't want to come along. There we go. It went in. Sort of. Hey. What? I'll just move you in by myself. Perfect. Nicely done. And the meat is ready to be transported away. Is that what that did? I feel like that's what this did. And activate. And activate. Activate. And reverse rotor. Reverse rotor. Activate. Hey! Meat is ready for being shipped out. Open the door door being opened uh oh and then it just kind of falls off the edge of the world and we pretend that this never happened because the fbi is going to be knocking at my door in a couple minutes so we should probably get rid of all of the evidence bye thanks for watching and keep your stick on the ice we'll catch you next time and I'd like to thank everyone who signed up on Patreon, including Ben, Ellen Hagen, Dickie James, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Eagle Arc, Whip It Good, Seraphin X, Des Bogger, Maxer, Sarnoff, Legacy, Jason McFarland, Deacon, Paul Longstone, and Ralph. And everyone who has clicked that join button down below to become a YouTube channel member. 